This is East Carolina Offensive Coordinator Donnie Kirkpatrick. We are talking one of my favorite things, hired football on the Sports Objective, the official, unofficial podcast of the Pirates. games in your system uh, entering year three now so just talk about Holton's development uh, earlier you talked about him trimming down uh, being more lean more mobile in the pocket and outside of it uh, so just talk about Holton's progression well you know Holton is you, you can sit there and do a whole show on Holton but you know and everybody knows that and you know he's a he's a favorite he, he's a coach's favorite that's for sure no kid works harder no kid's more committed to the situation. Nobody's a better person, a human being than Holton Aylers. I really feel like, you know, uh, Holton's got to make that step this year, though. You know, me and him have talked about that a lot to that elite player because at times he's been that guy. There there have been times when he gets on a roll, and I think he's the best quarterback in the league. And that's saying something in our league because we got some pretty good quarterbacks. Uh, What we got to do is we've got to just eliminate some of those mistakes, some of those bad plays. Uh, you know, I think he threw nine interceptions last year, and and they all come in waves. They all come in the same game when he throws two or three, you know, in that game. And what that comes from, though, is just trying to win uh, and not wanting to give up, which those are all really good traits that you want. But he's got to learn that he can't just do it all on his own. I think, unfortunately, when he took over as the quarterback here, you know, the team wasn't having very much success. So it was just do whatever you can do. Uh, it, it, when you get good plays, make the good plays. Don't worry about the bad plays. Now we're trying to win those games, not just compete with those teams. We're trying to win those games. We're trying to close out those games. And those mistakes are what make the difference sometimes in the game. So we got to eliminate those things. And then we got to keep those, those successful plays. So he can run. I know a lot of people thought we didn't run him as much last year. Some of that was by design. Some of that was design of the defense because they thought he was going to run. So they can they can put somebody on the quarterback, you know, in the option because the zone read is nothing but an option. Uh, and so they can play quarterback players, and they did. They kept somebody on him. I think that's one of the reasons that uh, Raji and Keaton had some running room sometimes because they've got one and two guys waiting for him to pull that ball and run with it. And so now we're outnumbering them, you know, on the run uh, with the running back having the ball. Uh, so some of that's the defense doing that. Some of that because, you know, we were inexperienced quarterback behind him. I think the Navy game, you know, kind of showed that, though I thought Mason did a great job of doing what he was ready to do. He just wasn't ready to go win that game. I don't think he lost the game for us. He just wasn't ready to go win the game, whereas I think Holton would have been able to do that, and that would have surely been a win for us. So we did have to be a little bit cautious about well, how much are we going to ask him to run, you know, in certain situations. We'd like to run him more. Uh, The thing that I did think, though, as time had gone on, he's improved in so many things, posture in the pocket, presence in the pocket, uh, his throwing motion, just his accuracy, all those things. He's just done a great job of working so hard to improve. But I did start to notice that I thought he was losing some of his explosiveness and his quickness a little bit. And uh, so we really tried – because he'll go out and throw – 14 hours a day, uh, tried to emphasize in the off season, let's don't just throw all the time. Let's put a little bit more into our conditioning. Let's lean out a little bit. Let's see if we can get back to that first step, second step quickness uh, that I think that maybe you had in earlier in life you've lost. Once he got rolling, he was still running pretty good. I think you see the Temple game, he runs a quarterback draw. It was about 70 yards. Once he got rolling, he can still run with everybody. But I just thought he was a little bit slower. I thought there were a few guys hitting him in the pocket that I thought he might be able to be able to avoid if we could lean him out a little bit and concentrate on him being a little bit more explosive. So that's what we're looking for this season out of here. 